Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be able to start this kickoff for this Pastelloween collab with Scrap Passion 01. I am joined by so many talented ladies and I will leave links down below. I, I believe they will be hosting giveaways on their channel so you don't want to miss it. I, on my channel, will be hosting a giveaway and you'll have to like, comment on all four videos in my collaboration. And on the fourth video, I will be showcasing my giveaway prize and I will be announcing a winner um, in a follow-up video. So I'm super excited to get started. I actually started this whole collaboration without buying anything. Well, I, I did buy one die, but for the most part, I shot my stash. Um, the stores aren't really um, putting out, I don't know, lines that were appealing to me and um, so I was super excited to just use what I had in my stash and I start all my projects with embellishments. So I'm so excited to show you what I've created and I'm going to just start off with some of my felties. I saw Andrea, who's crafty mom of two here on YouTube and Instagram, um, had purchased this die and I needed to have it for myself. I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, it is such a cute piece and I went and I made a whole bunch of little embellishments. Um, I put little jemmies in his eyes, I cut them out of felt and then I just backed it. If you could see right here, I backed it with some cardstock. It's not the prettiest on the back, but I wanted to fill his eyes and mouth with the black. I thought it just looked so much better and then I just made some ghosties. Stitching could be a little bit better, but <laughs> uh, it, it's good enough. And I love how these came out. They're so cute. Um, I also had made this adorable little witch's hat, and they are stitched. And I made them using this old dye that I had found in my stash. This come, This is the cutting piece, and this is the... I don't know if this is... It does cut out the holes, but you have to... It doesn't cut out the actual hat kind of embosses it and then this is the layering piece I used two different color felt I used pink and black and then I just took out the pieces and layered them up I used some embroidery embroidery floss um, to just give it that stitch look and I love how these came out these were so relaxing to make I have to say and I just love the details on this and again super adorable to put on projects I think they would look so cute on a clothespin and yeah I mean why not right so cute so I'm so excited to have these and then I decided um to take make these ghosties that I had made last year and I can't for some strange reason cannot find the die for this but this is a layering ghostie that I had in my stash um again you can just cut them out in different papers I just put little jemmies inside to give little eyes and they come in various different sizes this one I did cut out in a little bit in vellum on top of white cardstock to give it that little Caspery ghosty look and then I went the felt route I didn't love this one <laughs> I didn't love this one I shouldn't have stitched it I think the stitching actually made it a little bit eh, not so cute this one I thought were, were adorable. I cut out in cardstock and then I laid the felt on top. So that was a little bit tedious but fun. And then I did have this die that I, I don't know when I bought this forever but it I love this font and this is a Tim Holtz font and it's so gothic and I just cut out some of the boos. Look how creepy this is. I cut it out in felt. This, oh God, I made a big boo-boo. <laughs> I made it funny. Anyways, this, this I, I had glitter felt um, from Target, and instead I cut it on the wrong end. But again, this font is so cute. And look, the spider web on the bottom. Oof, I cannot wait to put this on a project. And then let's see what else I created. Oh, I had this dye that I bought from Tuesday morning. And it is a layering um, cauldron. And I did cut out a couple of these as well. So cute. I 
cut it out in this um, shimmer paper from Michaels. Look at that shimmer. I just used my Xyron um, maker and just kind of uh, did all the gluing part because it was too tiny to glue on. But aren't they adorable? I love this die. And then let's see what else I created. Oh, I had this Michaels die from last year. It is a layering bat. And I created some shakers. So I made three different shakers. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the bat. So I kept one simple. And then I cut two out of glitter cardstock. Sorry for the glare. And then I did do the layering bat on top. You can see here. So again, this was a great buy from last year. And I can't wait to add it on a project or a bag topper. So cute. So, oh, and then I took the inside cutouts of the shaker and I just made, I just, I just made, uh, I just put them on the foam because, you know, I had to cut it all out and I want to waste it. So it's a two for one dimensional bat. So let me see what else. I also had this die from Stamps of Life. It is a ticket die. And I wanted to do something with this because I had bought it over the summer because everyone was hauling it. And I did create this layered ticket. I'm not sure if I love it so much, but... Um, I just thought I'd show you. I am using the Spooky Pastel Collection from Paper Cakes. Oh my god, I almost forgot what the line. And I just layered it up. You can see all the different layers. Super cute. I used a lot of digitals in this collection, um, in this project, only because I didn't have a lot. I did have one paper pad from Michaels, and other than that, it was really um, slim pickings. So... Again, super excited. I have this, and I think I showed this in a previous video, this ribbon, um, faux ribbon kind of die. And I started off with this embellishment. I actually have some other, this is my first template. I have some others that I have created. I'm just waiting to show in a future video, but I love how this came out. I did it, layered it up on a rosette puffed up these little uh, ephemera pieces from the Spooky Pastel collection. I put some pink cheesecloth in the back. I layered up some banners that I have from a, another die. I did a little eyelet and then I have a, I hung this little Tim Holtz spider on the side and I think it's so stinking cute. Again, I need to have word stickers on like pretty much all of my embellishments. I have this from the Spooky Pastel collection as well. And, oh God, I love it. It's so cute. And then let's see. And then I created um, some, uh, well, one, um, shaker library pocket. And I did make this dangle. Again, this is a new rhinestone um, bottle cap, if you want to say, um, that I hauled from Allie. And then I just made this little dangle. And then I put it on a lobster clasp. I think it's so stinking cute hanging from the side. This is a piece from, um, I don't know where I got this. Maybe a digital collection. But I did put some glossy accent, creeping it real. Uh, this is, let me just take this out. This is a cut die cut from, or a, um, one, of, one of the, from the Michaels um, Pistelloween paper pad from last year. Trick or treat yourself. And then this is a shaker. This is using some We Are Memory Keepers acetate. And let's see, it is a little bit tight, but there is some sequence in the back and in the pocket, but you can't see because I cover that up. I use some, I don't even know what this is, like faux spiderweb um, cheesecloth kind of. Um, and I did use this, I found this on, I think Pinterest, uh, it just, cut her out with my Cricut and again which please I love her she has all these tattoos and yeah she's just yeah a really cute piece I added a little spider sequence on the side and I thought this was so cute just to put a little bit of a cut apart and there you go Whew. oh my god 
that is my project share. This, these were the embellishments that I created to kick off this collaboration. And I am super excited again to be joined by such talented ladies. And I would like to introduce the next YouTuber that's after me. And that is Natasha Griffin Girl. And again, I will leave, leave all the links down below. Go check out her video and all of the other ladies in our collaboration. Stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.